Hello Linux enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some intriguing news for you. Brace yourselves, as the infamous blue screen of death is making its way to Linux, all thanks to System D. Yes, you heard it right. Let's dive into the details. Over the years, the blue screen of death has been synonymous with Windows, using a blue-colored page to signal major errors. Now, with System D V255, Linux is getting its own taste of the infamous BSOD. But fear not, I'm here to guide you through it. So what's happening? System D introduces a new experimental component called System D BSOD. As per the commit, it will display a blue screen with an error message if a boot failure occurs. Similar to Windows, it even features a QR code that users can scan with their phones for relevant information related to the failure. Now, you might wonder, does it matter? Well, yes. The traditional way Linux shows error codes during a crash or boot failure can be quite unintuitive, especially for beginners. With the BSOD system, troubleshooting becomes more familiar and user-friendly. No more trundling around forums and articles, making it a good thing for many users, considering most popular Linux distributions are based on System D. Now, besides the BSOD feature, System DV255 brings some key highlights. There's a complete overhaul of how services are spawned. Secomp now supports the Long Arch 64 microprocessor architecture. System V service script support has been dropped, and much more, including improvements for TPM2 support. I highly recommend checking out the official changelog to delve into the details of the new System D release. This update is expected to be featured in many Linux distributions set to be released in the first half of 2024. Even though many of us are familiar with the System D controversy that has lingered for years, the introduction of BSOD to Linux raises questions. I wonder what kind of reaction this implementation will get when it rolls out in the near future. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's spark a discussion. That's it for today's update. If you found this information interesting, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more Linux news, and ring that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, happy exploring in the world of open source. See you soon.